Hello and welcome back everybody, Michael Deal here, and welcome back to another video. Um, after keeping up that it is recording, but right now, um, as we know, um, the current Galactic Regalia is leaving, and, and it will now be in place of Dragonial Defenders 2 rerun banner. So, so I'll just do very quickly do this honestly because, because well, that's not what this video is about, alright? Uh, here's everyone. Pick and choose uh, from there. These are all older units. Um, not really meta, but the but choice is yours whether or not you want them or, or the layered stamp. But some of these adventures will be getting mana spirals. And we'll be going over the spirals and seeing whether or not they truly are good. Whether they could become meta and or whether or not you should pull for them for the purpose of their spiral. So, before I continue, uh, feel free to subscribe uh, for more content. Um, I think tomorrow I'm going to have a very, very special video. It's either tomorrow or the day after. So, definitely make sure you... Uh, sub so, so, definitely make sure you are aware. Because, because it's based off of some data mines and it's going to be very... And me personally, and my brother, it's potentially one of my best videos. So definitely make sure you're on for that. And links are in the description as well. Feel free to check them all out. And without further ado, let's go over Spiral. So we have Cleo, Zanefrid, and Nefaria in the Dragon Yule alts all getting Spirals. They skip Xander. I know. He's next. <laughs> but either way... Um, let us go over them. So, we have Dragon Yule... Wait a minute, I've got to do something. I'm actually going to do this very, very fast, alright? I'm going to do this very quickly. I completely forgot about this, but but let's actually pull them up in their own tabs. That way... That way, um... That way uh, we can see them si side by side. And, uh, and there we go. So, let's go over Cleo first, right? So, Cleo right now... Um, right now, uh, deals water damage to enemies that's directly ahead, increases energy levels, use antibody by one stage, and activates, uh, Frigid Gift. Gift. Uh, this part's new, I think. Uh, Frigid Gift. Uh, when this effect is active, the user's next force strike will strike with Inflict Freeze. And, it'll, and it will also activate Skill Shift, increases Strength, is Phase 2, and Phase 3 is Crit Rate. So, just to make sure... Okay... Okay, so, uh, okay, so, the, okay, so they actually changed it, um, and now it no longer has, uh, has a percentages on the strength and crit rate, and also, instead of uh, the seal freezing, it, it, it now, it now, uh, it now has a force strike that does it, so, so, so in short, you, you can now save the freeze for when you know you, you can freeze, that's actually nice, actually, Huh. That's actually really nice. Therefore, therefore you will be able to have a, li a little bit more of, um, of, um, free will on, on where to freeze. And the S2, you know, that stays exactly uh, the same, just more water damage. And I'll say crit combo time, that stays the same. This one I'm curious about. Um, increases, uh, strength and defense by 13% when HP is 70% or above. Oh, they left strength exactly the same. They just slapped on defense. Ooh. Ooh. Interesting. Then now they have a fun stun res and 20 hits at energy level. So they reduce it by 10 whole hits. That's nice, I guess. That's nice. But but now but now just a quick um over Cassifer. Defense by 30% is nice, but they left the strength the same. That's what gets me right now. They left that part exactly the same. And, and, well, and well, other than that, um, they left the skill mostly the same, except that they made Freeze a 4 strike. That part's nice. Then the S2's are the same. They're really being careful on these spirals now, and or even making them more lackluster, honestly. It's interesting what their moves are right now. But overall, um, she looks alright. Um, 
probably, hopefully, lots of damage mod buffs, which I doubt they will at this point. Because right now, spirals, they're not even spirals. They're just slight buffs. That's all these are. So now, uh, Cleo's done. So now we move on to Dragon Eel Zanefred. So just pulling up everything. There we go. So, and Zanefred, we know already, is honestly a pretty solid unit. Nothing meta, but he's actually really good. So, so his S1 now, and which will do keep in mind, it is shareable. Um, crit rate of the Wind Adventure is in the team by 22% for 15 seconds. And increases strength by 5. So, so they... Oh, that's it? They just buffed the critter by 2%? What the hell? Come on, guys. So, now the S2 raises Dragon Gage if it connects, one damage, and 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 after it shapeshifts, um, it, it increases faster. So, they did change that, actually. That's a nice buff when you're... Oh, once request. Oh. Fuck it. Never mind. Never mind. It's no longer so nice. Alright, so I'm just processing everything right now. So Prime Strength has has over almost doubled. That's nice. Uh, Potent Bog and Dragon Claws has been up to I don't know what former Dragon Claws that is. But, but well, well, I'm assuming they buffed uh, the Dragon Claws. Uh, I would have to look in game, but that would, but that would require me to actually do it because I got the music playing right now. So honestly, overall, um, this part should not have made it once per quest. Honestly, in my opinion, because that's eh, and only two percent. They're being incredibly stingy now. I'm not liking this. But though, eh, they will be. But well, in the near future, they will be doing more quality over quantity, and ugh. Just ugh. God damn it. I'm just disappointed in Spirals recently, man. I'm just disappointed. None of these are, like, really worth investing in. Because it's all Shaft. But oh well. So now, Zanefrey is done. Now we move on to Dragon Yield Nefaria. Um, I did read her a little bit before. So, S1, Frostbite. And and the Punisher, uh, exact same. It looks like that's fun. So now the S2 grants nearby allies a one-use shield, twenty percent, increase energy levels by three, and add its gifts ready, which is two gifts. So so for their uh, so for their next two four strikes, you can give shields and and the energy levels again. So and with this, um, gifts ready. Oh, okay. Okay, so they did change it. So, so pretty much now... So, so pretty much now, they added on this part, alright? They added on the first shield for free, pretty much, when you instantly use it. Then from there, gifts ready then stays uh, the same. Okay, that's a nice change. That's a, that's a nice, nice change. So in short, she can she can energize herself very easily, very very nice. That's a good one. That's a good one. Um, come up same. Skill damage increased by ten percent. Potent burn res. And when combat count is fifteen or higher, grants users sustain attacks a twenty percent chance to an inflict freeze for six seconds and and increases damage to frostbite enemies by ten percent. Whoa. Wait so. Wait, so now here, Clown Hunter can hire Grant's six second buff that, that Grant's hand attacks a 10% chance to freeze. So six seconds. Wow! Okay. Okay, Nefari got the biggest buff out of everyone. Nefari got the biggest buff out of everyone. Jesus Christ, actually. Uh, and, and wait, I'll let you read this. So when Jagging and Nefari's Man Sparrow's unlocked, a uh, the description of her Flurry Freezer 1 ability will be updated as follows. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So then... 
so then so then pretty much in short they, they they're rewarding her pre-spiral in order for her post-spiral wording to match that's what they're doing okay so that's fine honestly uh, which does make it easier to understand but wait uh, there was one more thing i did want to go over back up uh, to cleo actually um it's about her s1 when levels 1 through 3 of Starlight Gift are used, they have a chance to inflict freeze, but by when level 4 of the skill is used, the effect is instead granted to her next 4 strike and its chance of success is increased. Uh, uh, this change affords, affords uh, the freedom to inflict freeze on demand with, with a 4 strike without having to worry whether the skill itself will be available at the critical moment. However, please note that 4 star that skill will behave uh, the same when freeze upon skill activation when on top of skill of the Oh, okay, okay, so... Okay, so this is important right here, right? Alright, so... So when you share her S1... They don't get the... Four strike is the freeze. The, the skill will then freeze. Okay, so... So that is an interesting note... When you are actively sharing with this, and which will, to be honest, for water sharing anyway, you would rather have a lily uh, skill for guaranteed freezes on critical moments, or or use um, or use fucking uh, fiorms for a very fast freeze, frostbite, and punisher. So yeah, um, that's still right, but honestly, Nefaria got a big buff. Nothing much in skills, and we're just doing frostbite and a punisher. You don't need to change that much, honestly. Uh, the fact that uh, the fact that uh, her S2 immediately immediately gives herself and allies the shield and the energy levels, and she can still have gifts ready, which will give two players even more, is very nice. And also a whole ten percent, um, twenty five percent chance for freeze upon sand attacks for six whole seconds. And with a built-in Frostbite Punisher as well, whenever your combo count is 15 or higher. That's actually crazy. She got a really good buff, honestly. So, 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 so just if you had to pick someone to spiral from Christmas, honestly, I would go Nefaria. If you absolutely have to on like a dare or some shit, I don't know. Do Nefaria, because she's actually pretty good, I would say. But well, what sucks is that all these all these are supports that they're buffing right now. That might be a little trend uh, they're doing. So so for all I know, maybe on the rerun or or well next year they will do offensive uh, Christmas. Who knows? But yeah, honestly, really, honestly, I'm I'm disappointed most of these. But but by Nefaria, I was surprised at. I was honestly surprised at Nefaria. But other than that, that's about it for this uh, video. I would say. Um, hopefully you guys are, hopefully you guys will be enjoying, uh, your Christmas and or holidays, whatever it is that, that you celebrate. And, um, and, um, I'll just leave off on chapter 17 tomorrow and may you all have a happy Dragon Eel event.